this video, I'm going to be sharing with you an overview of your higher self, understanding everything that you need to know, as well as how to powerfully connect to it. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a complete overview of understanding your higher self at a completely different level and also how to connect to it in a very profound way. Because when you start to connect to a larger part of who you are, you start to find that there's either more synchronicity in your life or you just find that you feel like you're more in alignment with who you really are. Now our higher self is not our ego self, but our higher self is still a part of us. Our higher self we can think of as the self that has more of a realization of who we really are. Because what happens is when we come to earth, when we are born, we forget who we are at a larger level. That's why many times if you look at many different spiritual teachings, if you look at many different uh, over the years, some people call it channeled material, but you'll find that there is a whole bunch of information from the raw materials, from the Seth books. If you look at Abraham Hicks, there's a lot of different ways of understanding this, but they all agree on the main premise that in a way we have forgotten who we are at a greater level. We have forgot that we are immortal spiritual beings having temporary human experiences. And that because we exist now, we will always exist in one form of another. So we should, or we could just start to kind of relax in knowing that if we exist now, we will always exist. It's just a matter of how we will shift ourselves or how we will choose our next experiences or even the experiences that we are having right now. So there's this understanding that the higher self is in a way the part of us that's on top of a mountaintop. The top of a mountaintop in the sense that it can see into the valley, think of our ego as in the valley, and we are going up to the mountain and the higher self is on the mountain, can look down and say, okay, now you can go over here, you can go over here. It's guiding you along the way. Now we do still have free will. We have free will to to go in certain directions and there's many times actually that our higher self will show us some other direction to go in. Maybe we'll find this as a synchronicity, maybe something will happen that looks like an apparent roadblock, but many times it could just simply be a sign from the higher self that's saying, go in this direction. I know that one time, for example, I was starting to get in a relationship with this girl. This was back, this is like 2010, 2011. And I was, uh, I knew it wasn't, not that I wasn't supposed to be in a relationship with her, but I knew it just wasn't gonna vibe out well. And I, my ego was strong and I'm like, no, I'm gonna pursue this, I'm gonna pursue this and, and make this work. So what happened was, is I remember I was texting her one day and first off, you shouldn't text and drive, I don't do this anymore. But in the time I was texting while I was driving and I was texting her and then what happened is on Las Vegas Boulevard here and I ended up uh, getting into an accident. I rear-ended someone in front of me and then I didn't have a car for like a month because my car was being fixed So it was hard for me to get to work and it was hard for me to get around So it made the relationship hard because it was right when we first talked we started talking and then it was like it was uh, We couldn't we didn't really have the ability to see each other because we lived so far away And I couldn't really drive now. We still made it work, but I knew this is before my even my spiritual awakening but I knew that in a way subconsciously it was a sign to not go in that direction but nonetheless my ego kept going in it but that's kind of the thing sometimes sometimes you could say oh this is a very negative situation but in actuality it's just a sign that's saying go in this direction because this direction is void of a roundabout of not having to get more caught up in other stuff because then there were certain things that happened in that relationship that prolonged other things so if I would have I could see how maybe that could have diverted or gone into a different direction. Now, of course, I don't regret anything. It's all part of the experience. But nonetheless, that's just an example of a kind of sign that we could get from what we call our higher self. Now, let's look more deeply into this. I'm gonna get a little bit more esoteric with you here. There are different dimensions of existence. Let's just say, and let's understand it like, the first dimension is the dimension of the minerals, is the dimension of inanimate objects. It's the static type appearance of certain things. And it's not the dimension necessarily of self-awareness. The second dimension, we start to get more into the animal kingdom. Animals 
are nonetheless, it's a, this is all an evolutionary type process. We move up the different dimensions as we expand our own consciousness. Now, the second dimension is mainly, or the second density, let's use the words densities. Uh, the second density is more of the animal kingdom. We have animals and they are of second density where as if we are human, we are of third density and now we are transitioning and the time on the planet, we are transitioning into a higher density. But let me explain that a little bit as well. So first off, something I found interesting. When it comes to the second density, we have animals. And when you start to personalize the animals, like it, when you start to have pets, for example, you start to, you're actually helping your pet evolve its level of consciousness. Because as you personalize it, as you give it a name, as you give it love, it starts to naturally expand its own awareness. So that's something that I found very interesting. And a lot of this material that I'm sharing with you in this video comes from the book called The Law of One, which is a very profound book that was written in 1980, I think, 1978 to 1980 something. And it's some of the most profound channeled material that is out there. It's very highly accredited by a lot of different people because a lot of the things in it, almost all of it checks out at some level. And what it talks about is these level, different levels of density. So one of the things it says is that if you have an animal, and you personalize it, you give it love, you actually are helping expand its own consciousness. Now then we get into what is called the third density. Third density is where we were for the longest period of time. Third density is self-awareness. It's when we become aware of ourself, when we become aware that we have the ability to kind of go in certain directions. Think of this also as the the will, think of it like the kind of like the third chakra, the solar plexus. It's the will that we might have to go in certain directions. Now in the third density, there's a very strong polarity. Polarity mean light and dark. And in the light and dark, there is the potential for good things and then bad things. There is light, dark, good, bad, negative, positive. So seeing all that, there's a lot of times the ability and manipulation and control. This is something that's been happening for a long time on the planet, with the government, with behind the government, not even the government really, it's the people behind it. But it's the idea that that is something that has a lot of duality. And that's why in our world we have this big amount of contrast. Now things tend to be and vibrate a little bit slower in third density. It's kind of like it takes a while to manifest things because the energy is a little bit heavier. And that's the three, three, that's what they call 3D. Now 3D has been around for a while, for thousands of years, and it is now going away. Now we are transitioning and we have transitioned into what is called fourth density. Now fourth density is something that we have been slowly speeding up to over the last, uh, I don't know, like maybe 20, 30 to 50 years, we've been slowly raising our vibration into what is called the fourth density. Now the fourth density is more so like, think of this more so like a, like a dreamlike state. Life is becoming more like a dream. Things are happening quicker. This is when we become more aware of, we start to become more aware of connection. Not completely, that's more fifth density. Uh, like to be completely immersed in that. There's still the potential for positive and negative. There's still the potential for there to be some polarity, like there could be fourth density negative and fourth density positive type people. But nonetheless, this is a much higher level of awareness and this is when life becomes much more like a dream. This is when manifestation speeds up and in a way we're all having a collective dream together and we have now started to be in this fourth density reality. now. We may not have noticed a huge difference. It's not like we woke up one day and we're like, whoa, this is totally different. But over time, it's almost like the frog that's inside the boiling water. When it's in the boil, if you throw it in boiling water, it automatically jumps out. But if you put it in lukewarm water and you heat it up and it starts to boil, it'll boil itself to death. Now, in the same way we have, I'm not saying we're gonna boil ourselves to death, but we have slowly been raising our vibration and you may think and feel that things have kind of changed over the last five or 10 years. That's why we're going through this transition and in this transition, we're becoming much more aware of who we are. So 4D is more like a dreamlike state, it's an accelerated manifestation. It's when we become more aware of uh, the power and manifestation ability we all have, how we're all connected and we're creating our reality together. When we collectively focus on certain things, that really has an effect on the collective consciousness, just like they've showed that if 4,000 people meditate on love, it can decrease the violence in the world by 72%. Think about how profound that is. 4,000 people meditate, get into a vibrational state, and change the outcome of all violence on the planet by 72%. That to me is incredible. That shows the power of our collective consciousness and just even the power of people focused on one intention. So fifth dimension. The fifth dimension is something we are also 
starting to move into as well. So we're moving into like four or 5D. Some of us are in different kind of levels of consciousness. And 5D is more of connection and unity, understanding that we are all one, we are all connected to this collective consciousness. And that's when we start to really move into a powerful understanding of who we are. This truly is a higher dimensional state of being, uh, fifth density, and it's something that over the next, I think, couple thousand years, we're gonna be really moving into. And I think that regardless, I think things will happen fairly quickly. Uh, we are going through this transition right now and it will continue. And a lot of that has to do with also letting go of the 3D idea. So you see the government's falling apart, the way that we used to do things is falling apart. And that's a good thing. That is part of the process because we have to let go of what no longer serves to then allow these systems to come in that are even more powerful. So now I get to, I know I just explained that for a long period of time, but I wanted to kind of lead up to the higher self which exists in what is called the sixth density. The sixth density is even higher than that and than just the unconditional love and understand that we're all connected. The sixth density is where our higher self is and we all have a higher self. So no one is really higher or lower than anybody else. It's just that we're having different kind of experiences with our levels of consciousness and everyone will eventually get to where they need to be. However, our higher selves are in what is called the sixth density density state. In the sixth density state, our higher selves can perceive of all our past, all our futures, all our present moments, and they help guide us through the process. And it is still a part of us. It is still a part of who we are. And you know, sometimes we'll go into dream states or we'll get these intuitional like nudges in certain directions and we assume it's our spirit guides. Many times it's just our higher self as well. Sometimes they'll cloak themselves as spirit guides because that may resonate with our belief system. But nonetheless, we are immortal spiritual beings. Our higher selves are housed in this six dimensional level of understanding. And that in a way is what we can start to realize is that we can start to connect to this version of us simply with the intention. So let's look at how we can connect to our higher self. Well, there's a couple different ways. The first way, the most common way, the easiest way is to follow the feeling of excitement. I know this sounds cliche, but it is so powerful. Your feeling of excitement is your body's translation telling you this is who you are. Your higher self is broadcasting a frequency to you and that frequency is something that resonates within your body with the feeling of passion when you're in alignment with what that actually is, with your higher self. So follow the feeling of excitement. You'll find more and more synchronicity of things happening in your life and you'll find that that really allows you to create a powerful momentum in your life in general. So that's something that you can do that's very powerful. The second thing you could do is just simply set the intention. Set the intention before you go to bed to get messages or some type of dialogue with your higher self. And then maybe it's a dream symbol. You know, when we go to bed at night, our brain wouldn't understand what we are really doing in the higher dimensions because our brain doesn't have reference experiences for it. So in a way, our higher self is shielding a lot of the information of what we do on the other side or in the higher dimensions because it wouldn't be relevant. Imagine a place where there's unconditional love and unconditional type feeling and you have more abilities and you were to wake up and remember that, you might not wanna be here so much. It might be a little bit distracting to your journey itself. So that's why many times we go to bed at night, we are actually awake in higher dimensions. We are in different astral planes. We're doing things far beyond what we think is possible. But when we come back into our bodies, we completely forget it because it is counter, in, it's counter, productive. It doesn't necessarily serve us 100%, but that's what life is about. Life is about remembering who we are and then expanding our awareness. And part of that is knowing that we are connected and we are a part of a higher self, which is us. Our ego self appears to be fragmented, but in actuality, we are much more vast than we priorly thought that we were. That's why life, the purpose of life is to remember who we are. And as we start to do that, everything begins to change. So the second part, like I said, set the intention, be open to the ways that we communicate, that we digest this information. It could be simply digesting the information in the form of dream symbols of some type of uh, nudge or intuition we get, or just even a synchronicity. And as you pay attention to that, you'll find that more and more things happen for you. So if you want to know how to really connect to your higher self and to follow that feeling, I've created a free meditation that will show you how to raise your vibrational set point. It'll help you to expand your level of consciousness and then to really feel better. And then that feeling is your higher self guidance. It can totally transform your life. It's something that you can download for free. It's in the top of the description box below. And remember that this is all about understanding 
following the excitement. It's all about understanding that you are an immortal spiritual being having a temporary human experience, that when we come to earth, we forget who we are because that is part of the process. That is part of us then expanding our consciousness, remembering it, and as we remember it, as we remember and reconnect to who we really are, everything in our life begins to change and we start to really have profound experiences in our life. So another thing I'm gonna be doing is more live Q and A's on Instagram. So if you wanna follow me on Instagram and have a dialogue with me, go ahead and hit the top of the description box. Or no, I put it right here. I put the, uh, the Facebook or the Instagram type uh, thing right here. You can follow me there and I will uh, we'll have more of a dialogue. So other than that, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video if you guys liked it, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little notification gear so that you can see the daily vids that I do. And other than that, as always, peace.